Hey, what's up guys? It is Justin here back and I'm bringing you another method on how to make coins. And this is going to be the consumable method. And uh, it's a very good method. You don't have to have that many pucks to start off. So for those people that only have 10, 15K, this method is right for you. And even right for those people that have 100K to 200K, this method can make you a lot of pucks very fast. Uh, for NHL 13, NHL 14, this was the way to make coins, especially when, uh, not NHL 14, it was like farming in NHL 14, but for NHL 13, there wasn't really many methods to make coins other than to sell consumables. And what is a consumable? You may ask for those people that just started NHL 15. A consumable is an item that you can put onto a player, such as that uh, team, of the U team of the week, Ryan Nugent Hopkins. Uh, say you have a change team, a plus five all, you, that is a consumable, basically. So what I'm going to tell you in this method is the best consumables to buy to make the most amount of money. So on the screen right now, I put a couple uh, couple consumable items that make you a lot of money. Things that people want to use on their players the most often. Things like change teams, 15 duration cards, 10 duration cards, 5 duration cards, people want that. Plus five all goalies and skaters because people like to boost their players. Uh, there, sometimes change positions, uh, that doesn't sell as well, but you can still try it. Just do not do contracts. Uh, consumables like uh, plus 9 skates, plus 9 shots, they do, they do not sell too well in terms of price fluctuation. Stick to change teams, durations, plus 5 goalie alls and skaters, and change positions, and you will make a lot of money. So I gave you a list of consumables that sell very well in the market, but how do you actually do this method in order to make a lot of pucks? And you want to basically buy low and sell high and well how do you buy low that's a that's a thing so i'm going to tell you right now the best time to buy consumables is when there is a special pack out ea releases this every three to four days around that time and it basically includes players and consumables and what people like to do is they like to buy packs and they like to dump all their consumables in the market right away for really really cheap prices and that is where you want to make your money and people like to dump their change teams and whatever plus five balls that's when you want to capitalize it you can either bid on it you can buy it out right now depending on how uh, I guess desperate you are but you want to save up all these consumables in your collection in your item inbox just hold on to them and then you want to sell them later so now that you have all these consumables inside your collection, whether you want it to focus on change teams, whether you want it to focus on plus five alls, it really is up to you. Uh, but basically what you want to do is you want to sell it at the highest price possible uh, before another special pack comes out. And EA, like I said, releases it every three to four days. However, EA does like to release a thing called a player pack. And what this player pack is, is that they only uh, this pack only includes players and this really raises the price of consumables because now people, all they get is players. They want to put them on the teams. Now they want to put consumables on their guys. How are they going to do it other than buy consumables from the market? Oh, what the hell? You have 100 change teams in your collection after this, this player pack comes out. I mean, you can make some pretty mad bank from what I know. So what you want to do around one to two days after this player pack comes out, that is when you want to dump your consumables that you have in your collection, in your item inbox. You want to sell those off right away. Usually consumable prices go up two to three times after that pack is out. Just make sure you sell it before another special pack comes out. Because once again, the consumable prices will go down in price. And you do not want to be holding on to those for another week or another two weeks. Whatever it is, that is when you want to buy it. So I'm going to end off this video. Uh, hopefully I was clear enough. But you guys let me know in the comments box below whether or not you have any questions. I will feel free. Uh, I will answer your questions basically. Alright, that is just about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Also, don't be afraid to leave some success stories in the comment box below. I know this method does work. Uh, you just have to be able to be very patient and uh, sell those players and sell those cons What am I saying? Sell those consumables at the right time. It's all about timing for this method, so you really want to concentrate on that. Once again, please leave a like on this video. I spent a lot of time on making this video, but uh, I will come up with some more in the future as well. So if you did like it, Please like, comment, subscribe for more of these videos, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.